What is up, YouTube? It's your girl, Evelyn, and today I want to highlight some upcoming shows. It's hot, really hot. Like end of the world, climate change is real, this is probably what we deserve, kind of hot. Which can only mean one thing, you're funky. Thankfully, the sponsor of today's video, Native, can help with both. Native makes personal hygiene products from simple ingredients. My personal favorite scent is the coconut and vanilla, because for some silly reason, it's socially frowned upon to drink pina coladas all day. But now, I can at least smell like one for 72 hours. So if you want to have a non funky, hot girl, hot boy, or hot NB summer, you should definitely check out Native. And if you use my link and code, Evelyn Dar, you can get three plastic-free deodorants that are normally $39 for just 26 bucks, plus an extra 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. Thank you, Native. I'm a hot girl, pop girl, rich girl, I'm a bitch girl. Bodies, 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 or as I like to call it, Shot in Florida the Movie, is a dark comedy about a group of young, rich, and attractive people who get murdered. Oh, now I get it. I've come to love, I've got good friends. We'll stay together now. Oh, stop. Who wants to play bodies, bodies, bodies? <gasps> A24, everyone's favorite unhinged entertainment company, what did you say? has once again set its sights on killing off Gen Z for some reason. And even though I am not this film's target demographic, I'm really looking forward to Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. The core of the movie is a gay lady couple. Shout out to my girl, real life queer Amandala Stenberg. It is editing Evelyn here, and I just realized that Amandala not only stars in Bodies, 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 but she also executive produced it. <laughs> Now, back to our show. The comedy seems to be almost as self-aware as Gen Z themselves, in a way that kind of reminds me of the original Scream. Now, before all you millennials and Gen Xers jump on my ass for suggesting such blasphemy, need I remind you that when Scream came out, most of the old-ass people back then thought it was just average to good. I mean, it's... Okay. Now that we're the old ass people, maybe we can not hate on youthful things just because they're youthful? Anywho, the non haters can watch Bodies, Bodies, Bodies in theaters August 5th. You won't break my soul. They Them is a brand new slasher from Peacock that claims to be a cross between Friday the 13th and But I'm a Cheerleader and is about a group of queer kids attending a conversion therapy camp. But surprise, surprise, there's a shadowy killer on the prowl. I have zero interest in not being gay. There's no judgments in this room. I would understand it a lot more if there was Bible thumping and queer bashing. Do you even believe in any of this? Based on the trailer, I feel like they slash them will either be really good or really not good. And I'm a bit worried because the trailer gives me antebellum vibes. No shade. But I'm still holding out hope that they slash them will be good. And if the movie leans more on the but I'm a cheerleader side of the equation, I think it probably will be. Either way, I will definitely be logging into my friend's Peacock account to check out they slash them on August 5th. This used to be my playground. After years spent in development, pre-production, and post-production, the A League of Their Own reboot has finally arrived. Curfew is at 10 p.m. sharp. No smoking or drinking. No pants. What? <laughs> For those of you who've never watched A League of Their Own, you should go watch A League of Their Own. It's currently streaming on Amazon Prime, and it's one of my favorite movies of all time, which is one of the reasons I'm a bit nervous about the upcoming reboot. The nostalgia for A League of Their Own is so incredibly real. Like, there is a sizable percentage of people who instantly die inside whenever that damn Madonna song comes on. And despite the gargantuan shoes the reboot is trying to fill, I am 1,000% rooting for it. My Broad City homegirl, real life queer Abby Jacobs, is both the co-creator and star of the show and has confirmed there will be multiple queer storylines and characters, including a very dapper looking Rosie O'Donnell. Obviously, comparisons to the film will be inevitable. I just hope people give the reboot a fair chance and it doesn't get suffocated under the weight of the original. The reimagined A League of Their Own series drops August 12th on Amazon Prime. Spin Me Round is probably, most definitely, queerbait, but it's also Aubrey Plaza queerbait, so I'll allow it. I can't afford this. It's Nick Street. I get no euro prostituta. What? <laughs> you seem so open-minded. Why does everyone keep telling me that? 
Spin Me Round is part comedy, part thriller, part kind of romance about a woman who wins an all expenses paid trip to Italy. But before she can eat, pray, and love her way through the country, her fun filled vacation transforms into something far more sinister. Which sounds kind of interesting, but let's be honest. We're here for Aubrey Plaza and Aubrey Plaza only. Apparently, this woman and Aubrey Plaza have a quick and meaningless dalliance that probably has nothing to do with the rest of the movie, but will trick a handful of queers into watching it like me. And if you're also a shameless queer, you can catch Spin Me Round August 19th in theaters, on demand, and on AMC+. And make sure to check out the pinned comment of this video for even more shows that may feature queer characters and are returning in August, like Never Have I Ever and The Outlaws. Also, Girl Picture, the Finnish queer coming-of-age film, is finally coming to the US on August 12th in limited theaters. Maybe I'm crazy to I get the from everyone's eyes. At this point, I think it's safe to assume that most things connected to Ryan Murphy are some kind of gay. Also, Ryan loves his lesbians. Is someone scared? Don't be chicken. There is not a serial killer that's gonna stop me from doing my thing. Season 1 of American Horror Stories was heavy on the lady gay, so if you haven't watched it, you should definitely check it out. Also, Season 2 is technically a July release, but I just round it up, which means that by the time this video comes out, you'll already be able to watch the first episode, if you're feeling brave. And if you're feeling really brave, you might want to check out my disturbing lesbian movie Iceberg, because sleep is overrated. I know Game of Thrones is kind of like an ex that you just can't get over. Sure, maybe you had a good eight year run, but those last two years were bad. Very bad. Dracarys! So when you run into them three years later at your local Aldi's and they seem different, better even, well, you can't help but wonder. Maybe this time it'll be different. Um, I'll see myself out. A woman would not inherit the Iron Throne because that is the order of things. When I'm queen, I will create a new order. Game of Thrones has never been known for its robust queer representation. Euron's offer is also an offer of marriage. You see, you won't get one without the other. And I imagine your offer is free of any marriage demands. I never demand, but I'm up for anything, really. But word on the street, and by street, I mean Reddit, is that House of Dragon, the spin-off slash prequel series, might be more gay. Now, I've never read any of Georgie's novels, but apparently there are several LGBTQ characters that pop up during the House of Dragon time period. Anywho, if you're anything like me, and by that I mean a clown, you will be tuning into HBO on August 21st, because she's different now. I just want to quickly shout out HBO's The Baby, a show I am super late to watching and had no idea was gay. It's about a woman and an evil baby. It's so good. I'll be reviewing The Baby later this week over on Patreon, but if you're a fan of horror comedies, I highly recommend it. That is it for the list. I want to give a quick shout out to my newest patrons, Jennifer and Reem. I also have to give a shout out to my big spender patrons, Angel, Citizen Ruth, Melissa, Mary, Dee, and Angie. Hey, big spender! As always, thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to let me know which film or show you're most looking forward to, and I'll see you in the next one.